What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Now listen, I know so much is going on in our world today, you know, with this whole coronavirus thing, but in the midst of this, guys, I want you guys to be strong. I want you to be strong for your family, be strong for your friends, be positive, spread positive vibes to everybody that you encounter. In the midst of this dark time, I want you to be a light, okay? I believe in you guys. I'm your number one fan. Let's change this world by being positive and motivating others. All right, let's do it. So what's up guys, welcome back to another brand new Pro Guys news video. All right, so we've got a few big stories today including community outrage over the console FNCS prize pool. The potential insane impacts you know, of this coronavirus on you know, competitive Fortnite. And finally, most surprising of all, Woofies, one of the best controller players in the world, you know, potentially quitting controller. Some insane stuff has been going on in the community and I'm here to give you guys the full scoop. All right, so one thing before we get started, if you wanna improve at Fortnite, then you gotta check Check out FortniteProGuides.com. All right, if you aren't signed up yet, you are missing out on exclusive courses and other video content from pros like Mongrel and Benji. 24-7 on-demand coaching from some insane pros, man. Special news, their tier list, and so much more. So head on over to take your journey to the next step. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, say this with me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. So our first story involves the brand new dual FNCS that was announced just about a week ago. This FNCS is honestly so exciting, guys, especially with Epic not giving us any competitive events for like literally months. But I'd like to point out one thing here. Why do end games feel like I'm playing on a 1988 Nokia phone with 10,000 ping? Epic, you know, you gotta step up your game with those servers, man. At this point, I think Minecraft Hunger Games is more competitive than Fortnite in this current state. All right, anyways, let's get back on track here. I just had to get that point out the way. All right, guys, so in all seriousness, despite the meta being a bit of a, uh, yeah, it's a little annoying and the performance not being too great, I'm still pretty happy, you know, to see some new competitive events going on. But there's just sort of a catch to this FNCS, you know, if you want to call it that. And that's the fact that console and PC is just have the same exact prize pool. And pros are like, not really happy about that. No! 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 Why? 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 You know, in fact, a lot of community figures completely just went off on Twitter, basically just flaming my entire console gang. A Twitter user by the name of Moisties1x said, very sarcastically, so glad console players have the same prize pool. Check it out. The top corner is so hard to do. Now, okay, so now hear me out, guys. Like, I love the console gang. You guys are awesome. But in all honesty, I did laugh at that one. A bit of a less of a joking way, a pro player by the name of Knives had this to say. Console players have had two years to come up with the measly $800 to get, you know, a PC. If it be from work, wagers, streaming, or tournaments. Console players do not deserve the same prize pool as PC players. Change my mind. All right, so Knives does have a point here, guys. I mean, you know, the top level of console competitive players would easily be able to afford, you know, a PC to compete for larger prize pools because after all, the group of players that performs best should be the ones who make the most money, right? I mean, it just seems like giving a lesser skilled platform and a more skilled platform is a bit silly here. As much respect I do have for console players, I just don't think that, you know, the top console players and the top PC players are even close in comparison to one another. I mean, it's almost comparable to like giving college football players the same salary as NFL players. It just doesn't really make sense, but hey, you know, maybe if you disagree with me, definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this one. And let's just move on to the next story, which relates to the coronavirus that's been taking the entire world by storm. All right, so the coronavirus, more scientifically called COVID-19, is a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. The virus originated somewhere in China, but nobody knows exactly where. As of current estimates, you know, this disease has a mortality rate of about 2%, primarily killing people who have pre-existing medical conditions or are extremely old. If you're under 60, the odds of you dying to this virus are about as low as Ninja winning a competitive Fortnite event. I'm sorry, Ninja, I just had to throw that in. <laughs> But in all seriousness, guys, you know, the odds of actually dying to this virus is pretty low, you know, but the world is in a complete chaos right now with people quite literally fighting over basic supplies like toilet paper. Why toilet paper? I have no idea. 
the problems with this disease are, you know, for one, you know, a lot of people can still be wiped out. You know, two percent is just way more than it sounds. People like our own parents and grandparents are just way, way more susceptible to this than we are. And that's why concerns are just so high. I mean, think about it like this. If one billion people get the virus, that means over 20 billion people are going to die. That's a big deal. So, you know, you might be wondering, where does coronavirus play into competitive Fortnite? Well, if you haven't seen our video on the virus in competitive Fortnite, I highly recommend it as it really goes over a lot of important information. But essentially, it goes over how the coronavirus is ending a ton of major events to the point where giant sporting organizations, even including the NBA, are completely canceling their seasons. I know, crazy. Some countries are even putting laws into place that ban gatherings of more than five people in one place. So I don't know if you have a big family, I don't know how you guys are living. But anyways, what this means for competitive Fortnite is basically that, you know, the odds of a major LAN happening anytime soon, most notably World Cup 2020, are extremely low. And it really doesn't seem like this virus is going down right now, so we might have to wait a while for that. But hey, you never know. You never, never know. So keep believing. And on top of all of that, you know, primary schools, colleges, you know, even some workplaces are being completely shut down. Some from, you know, multiple months because of the virus. You know, this means that, you know, way more people are just going to be home right now. Some even in 24-7 quarantine. And most of them will probably be playing a quite a bit of games during that time. So the unexpected impact the coronavirus might have is raising the skill level of the average player by an insane amount right now. If almost every Fortnite player is able to play the game, like mostly every single day now, you can definitely expect to see them improving, right? And if these players are signed up on ProGuys.com, oh my goodness, they're absolutely going to be going through the roof. So one thing I like to say, you know, from my own experience is to not play the game like all day long. I know, I know, you may have a lot of free time in your hands right now, but it's just not worth simply just throwing all your time away to it. You know, spend some time with family, get some exercise and maybe do something that people, you know, really don't do these days. And that's read. <laughs> yeah, read a book and do some other things as well. You know, playing Fortnite is great and all, but, you know, don't forget there's a lot more to life, guys. You know, it's grind time for sure. But don't forget to keep a healthy balance in your life as that's just way more important than ever right now. So overall, you know, while the competitive scene might be struggling a bit with no lands, the time is better than ever to get on the grind if you're an inspiring, you know, competitive player. I just think that this time away from school and all will definitely result in some new talent, you know, popping up in the Fortnite scene. And I'm curious, you know, how long you guys have off from school and work or if you have any at all due to this virus. So let me know down in the comments because I'm really curious to see how this is affecting everybody. All right, so moving on to our third story, we've got a pretty surprising one coming from the controller legend Woofies. If you don't know Woofies, he won second place with his old duo Rojo in the Duels World Cup, securing $1.2 million. And he's one of the most mechanically skilled controller players in the world. All right, yo, take a look at his gameplay and just tell me if he's not like the most mechanically talented controller player ever. So you're probably thinking, this dude's insane, right? <laughs> well, it may surprise you to hear that Woofies is considering switching to mouse and keyboard, and he actually thinks it's easy compared to controller. Hmm. Woofies tweeted this out on the 15th. Might switch to KBM. It's very easy, and I've been improving a lot at it. Uh-oh. You know, there's a good chance that this could be a joke, but, you know, let's just think about what this means if he is serious. You know, we all know aim assist is very strong, but Woofies could really, really have a point to the entire community if he actually does well on mouse and keyboard and is serious about it. You know, a lot of mouse and keyboard players, including, you know, myself, will admit this, you know, we tend to always say aim assist when a controller player does really well and immediately scream controller player when we get beamed. Oh, what? Controller player? That is a controller player! When we've seen it with an unknown, you know, where he learned mouse and keyboard and then placed fifth and a cash cup on it. You know, I've got a feeling Wolfies might just be serious about this, guys. If Wolfies is serious about this and he ends up succeeding in it, mouse and keyboard players might have to tone it down a little bit when it comes to aim assist. I'll say one more thing right now. Even though he's won on controller, Wolfies has an amazing game sense, and he's definitely a good candidate to shut the mouse and keyboard players up for good. So watch out. All right, so speaking of aim assist and controller, you know, one more small story is about the removal of legacy aim assist. We all know it by now that the legacy aim assist, the main one that everyone complained about, was announced to be removed and then delayed. 
At the time of this recording, however, it's still in the game. I'm wondering, you know, if it might be kept for dual FNCS, then removed. But overall, you know, Epic does seem to be removing legacy aim assist, which is an interesting decision. I mean, who knows? You know, maybe it'll be gone for good by the time this is uploaded. <laughs> you never know. But I'd like you all to tell me this, like, what do you think about the removal of Legacy? Do you think it was too overpowered and this was fair? Or, you know, could Epic have gone really wrong here? Or maybe we should have just given it a nerf? I'm really curious what you guys all think about this, as this is like one thing I'm not really, you know, completely decided on yet. That's a big one. Oh, it is a nice good one. They're removing nice Legacy? One. Oh my god, no. I just started getting good on it! The last story of the day, guys, is about Nick Merckx and Ghost Aiden finally playing together once again, but with a twist, okay? I'm sure most of us remember the fall skirmish where they played together and dominated, right? I mean, like, how could you forget that one? It was honestly, like, such a great statement for controller players when they absolutely dominated the event. Feels like it was yesterday. Well, you know, these two actually made an announcement that they're going to be doing up once again for the duels FNCS tournament coming up. And, you know, they also announced that they're going to participate in the console tournament instead of PC, which is, you know, as we discussed earlier, has the same prize pool. That's pretty darn cool. Yes, I said the word darn, my favorite word. And I'm excited to see how they perform in this one. All right, so let me know your predictions down in the comments. I really want to know where you guys all think they're going to place. Personally, I'm calling in, you know, a top five finish in the grand finals, you know, maybe even first place. Well, I guess we'll see. Overall, guys, you know, the news in the past week or so has been absolutely nuts, especially the news related to the duels FNCS. So I'm just so excited to see Aiden and Nick back together again as a duo. And, you know, I'm really curious, you know, to see what you guys all think about this console prize pool. If you enjoyed this news video and you want to see more of this, you know, type of stuff from us, be sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and, uh, you know, show ProGuys.com some love, you know, um, by heading over there. All right. So we'll see you next time, guys. So excited for all the things we have coming out. Stay tuned.